Heads up guys, it's Dark Arm Duelston Tech and I'm doing a Buy Steel Invoked Nemesis deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck's actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Manny. And this deck is a really fun deck to play with just how well all the engines in this deck actually work together. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like getting your name in the description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron. And definitely give Manny some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing two copies of Arch Nemesis Escantos. This card is an awesome boss monster that is actually a floodgate. This card is super easy to summon to your side of the field because it cannot be normal summoner set. It must be first special summoned from your hand by banishing three monsters with different types from your graveyard and if or face it from the field. And it cannot be destroyed by card effects, which is a really awesome effect. It makes it really easy to put on your side of the field, but it also has the ability you can declare one monster type on the field and destroy all all monsters on the field with that type. Also, until the end of the next turn, neither player can special summon monsters with that type, which is absolutely insane how powerful of a floodgate this card actually is. This card is also searchable off your copy of your Magnema, which is really cool about this deck. We then play three copies of Nemesis Flag. Nemesis Flag is really good because it's actually a searcher for the deck and all of your low level Nemesis monsters actually share a common effect. You get to target one of your banished monsters except another copy of themselves and special summon them from your hand. And if you do, shovel that target back into the deck, which is a great effect to be able to recycle some of your cards while also special summoning out a monster to the field. This card's unique effect is that during your main phase, you can actually add a Nemesis monster from your deck to your hand except another copy of this card, which is an awesome Awesome effect to be able to search out cards like your Escantos directly from the deck. We then play two copies of Condor. Condor is really good, but I feel like two copies is totally fine. It has the ability to let you target one of your banished Nemesis monsters, except another copy of this card, and add it back to your hand. We then play two copies of Umbrella. Umbrella is really good as a two of, but I don't feel like you need three copies of this card. It lets you target a Nemesis monster in your graveyard and add it back to your hand, which is a great effect. We then play just two copies of Keystone. Keystone is great as a two of in this particular build. It has the ability, if this card is currently banished and was banished this turn, you can add this card back to hand, which makes it really good to be able to add back to hand once you banish this card to summon out your copy of Escantos. We then play three copies of Alistair the Invoker. Alistair is insanely powerful in the deck. It's one of the best normal summons in the entire build. And the main one we're looking to normal summon out to our side of the field. Because when this card is normal summoned to your side of the field, you get to add Invocation from your deck to your hand. So you can go in for all of your invoked monsters in the extra deck, which is absolutely crazy. We then play three copies of Buy Steel Magnemut. Buy Steel Magnemut is really good as a three of them in the deck. All of your Buy Steel monsters actually share a common effect that you can target a light or dark monster in either player's graveyard and banish it and if you do special summon this card from your hand and it's a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster which is an awesome thing that basically they're all walking dd crows this card also has the ability if this card is special summon then you can activate this effect that during the end phase of this turn you get to add a dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand except another copy of this card which can be one of your buy steel monsters or can even grab your copy of your escantos which is super cool we then play three copies of Sonier. Sonier is really good because we are playing a bunch of buy steel cards in this particular deck. And this card is a super unique effect that if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send a buy steel monster or a branded spell or trap from your deck to the graveyard, which is always going to be your copy of Lubellion that you're sending to graveyard because you can actually special summon that card from the graveyard. We then play just a single copy of Druus Worm. This card is spot removal that if this card leaves the field, then you can target one special summon monster that your opponent controls and send it to the graveyard. I feel like this card is super searchable and it's a great one of but you only need a single copy of this card. We then play two copies of Lubellion. Lubellion is super easy to summon in this deck and super searchable off your copies of Magnemut or even sending it to Graveyard off of Sawnier. So I feel like two copies is totally fine. It's actually a searcher, which is really cool because it has the ability, if this card's in your hand, you can send this card from your hand to the Graveyard to add a buy steel monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card. And during your main phase, you can add a, or you can place a branded continuous spell or trap from your deck face up on the field, which is really cool because your opponent can't actually ash 
crush that because it placed the card, it didn't add it. But this card has a super easy summoning requirement that if this card's in the hand of the graveyard, you contribute a level six dark dragon monster to be able to special summon this card, which can be any of your buy steel monsters that you can actually tribute to summon out this card. We then play two copies of Fallen of All Baz. We are playing Branded Fusion in this deck. So this card is really good to be able to help you go in for your Branded Fusion plays. This card is also a walking super poly, so it's a great two of in this deck. We then play a single copy of Albion, the Shrouded Dragon. Albion is basically a basically an upstart goblin which is really cool because you're always going to be using its effect to be able to send a branded card from deck to graveyard and then you place this card on the bottom of the deck and if you place this card from your hand on the bottom of the deck you get to draw a card which is really cool and the card you're actually going to be sending is your copy of branded retribution but it's really good to be able to use this card in the deck we then play a single copy of Mercurier. Mercurier is a hand trap, so this card is a definite one of the deck that is searchable off Branded Lost. So this card is a great one of in this particular build. We're then playing three copies of my favorite tech in this deck, and that's going to be three copies of Necroface. We are banishing a lot of cards in this particular build, so this card comes in extremely handy. If this card is normal summon, you shuffle all banished cards back into the deck, and this card gains a hundred attack for each card shuffled into the main deck by this effect not into the extra deck but into the main deck but this card is a really good effect that if this card becomes banished each player banishes the top five cards of their deck or their entire deck of less than five which is a super good effect for this card to be able to do to get rid of combo pieces off the top of your opponent's deck while also feeding your copies of your nemesis cards so they can special summon themselves to the field so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells so for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Terraforming. Terraforming is extremely important in this deck to be able to get to your copy of Magical Meltdown. We're then playing a single copy of Branded Regain, which pretty much turns every single one of your buy steel level 6 monsters into an upstart goblin, because if a lighter dark monster is banished except during the damage step, you can target one of those monsters and place that monster on the bottom of the deck. And if you do draw a card, which is super cool about this effect, and also has the ability at once per turn, if your opponent normally special summons a monster except during the damage step then you can target a buy steel monster in your graveyard and special summon it which is a crazy powerful effect we then play a single copy of branded loss this card just gives us extra protection of for fusion summoning which is really cool and it also has the ability if you fusion summon a fusion monster you can add a fallen of all baths or a monster that mentions it from your deck to your hand which can add your copy of your albion or your copy of your mercurier from your deck to your hand or even a fallen of all baths we then play three copies of Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion is really good in this deck to let you fusion summon by using cards from your deck to step into some extremely powerful fusion monsters like Mirror Jade. We're then playing two copies of Invocation. I feel like two is totally fine in this deck with your copies of Alistair because you're going to normal summon out Alistair and then search this card from deck to hand and then go in for an extremely powerful fusion play. This card is super good in the deck when it touches the graveyard as well because if this card is in the graveyard, you can target one of your banished Alistair the Invokers shuffle it into the deck or uh, shuffle this card into the deck and if you do add that card back to your hand which is really good because it basically resets your entire invoked engine because you get to add that alistair back to hand to normal summon it again next turn while also putting your fusion spell back in the deck because then you're going to search it again when you normal summon out alistair which is super cool we then play three copies of magical meltdown to round out the spells this card searches out your copy of alistair on activation and gives you some uh, protection when you fusion summon which is really 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 good so that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps so for the traps we're going to be playing a single copy of branded retribution and a single copy of branded beast these are really good in the deck your copy of branded retribution is a counter trap but we're only going to be using the effect of this card when it touches the graveyard that you can banish this card from your graveyard and then target a branded spell or trap in your grave except for the copy of this card and add it back to your hand you're usually going to be sending this card to the graveyard off of albion so you can be able to use that upstar goblin effect but it's really good in this particular deck to be able to use a counter trap every so often if you do hard draw into it but this card also is really good with your copy of branded beast and branded beast is really good in this deck because it basically is a pop because it has the ability of once per turn during a main phase if you control a buy steel monster you can treat a dragon monster and then target one card that your opponent controls and destroy it and during the end phase you can target a branded continuous spell or trap in the graveyard and place it face up on the field which is a great effect to be able to use with your copy of branded regained or even branded lost with your copy of sawnier being 
be able to send them to the graveyard. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of Invoked Makaba. This card is a walking negate and a definite two of in the build, especially with the amount of light monsters we're actually playing in this deck. With the playing a single copy of Purgatrio, you can summon this card out extremely easily with your copy of Flag and a copy of Alistair. So this card is basically an OTK piece, so it's really good as a one-up. Playing a single copy of Ragin. Ragin is good as a one-up because it's a walking book of moon. And you can use Condor plus your copy of your Alistair to summon out this card. I'm playing a single copy of Caliga. This card is basically kind of like dark door which is kind of cool i love this card as a one of in this particular deck because if a player's monster effect attempts to activate none of that player's monsters can activate their effects for the rest of the turn and then while this card is facing on the field each player can only attack with one monster during each battle phase which is a really insane effect that basically you got to think about what that one monster effect is and what that one attack is going to be which is really neat we then play a single copy of the really big invoked fusion monster this card is a great one of in the deck i only feel you need a single copy of this card but it's really easy to summon out in this particular build we're then playing two copies of mirror jade mirror jade is just a crazy powerful boss monster that we're going to summon off our copy of branded fusion which is really awesome this card is a banish every other turn which is absolutely insane we then play two copies of lubellium which is how we're going to actually step into that copy of mirror jade by using this card's effect and it's really easy to actually pull off because all you have to do is discard a card and then shovel the fusion materials back into the deck which is going to be a copy of lubellium and the fallen Valbaz that you sent to the graveyard to actually summon out this card we then play two copies of albion albion is just really good in the deck to be able to banish the exact cards that you want from the graveyard to basically miracle fusion out a fusion monster like your copy of mirror jade we then play a single copy of the abyss dragon which basically turns the normal summon of our copy of our fallen Valbaz into a chimera tech dragon which is really neat for this particular deck then we play a single copy of alamirage and secure guard now the reason we're playing these in the deck is so that we can get a fire monster and a light monster in the graveyard yard for our invoked engine because we can normal summon out alistair link that alistair away summon out the copy of alamirage and then link the alamirage away for the secure guard now to be able to get a light and a fire monster on the field or in the graveyard to be able to go into purgatrio or makaba instantly which is really cool the only thing you gotta watch out for these two cards is brand fusion does lock you into fusion summoning for the entire turn so if you do summon these cards out to the field it does kind of turn off brand fusion which is totally fine because brand fusion is basically a secondary engine deck with your copies of your Alistair being the main focus so that's it for the deck guys I hope you enjoyed this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played a deck that played branded by steel nemesis and all of this engine in the one deck it's just super cool like it's really fun how easy it is to pull off combos with this deck and what this deck can actually do like it's really fun to be able to just see how many engines you can actually activate in a single turn and I've actually made it where you can use all the engines in a single turn which is really neat and I love how well they all flow together. So, anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come for our notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.